Today we'll make a Valentine shadow box. Keep watching. We're going to use brown decorative shred, some heart grapevine decoration pieces, ribbon from Dollar Tree or the thrift store, whichever you prefer, whatever you have on hand, a calendar page from the Dollar Tree, and this is a frame that I got from Goodwill. I did not pay $9.99 for it. It was originally from the at-home store. paid by the pound so I probably paid maybe two dollars for this they are this is a 16 inch square decorative piece it's a wall hanging whatever you want to call it originally when I bought it I thought maybe it was a picture frame but because it has the clips on there but it is not the back is sealed as you will see shortly so a little goo gone is going to take this red marker off of here also go back over with some alcohol or some glass spray and clean your glass up on both sides. I'm going to cut away the paper backing. I'm just trying to clean up the edges a little bit. Then I'm taking my metal ruler from the Dollar Tree and bending up those little prongs that hold the backing in place. After I do that, I use some pliers to pull those out, which you will see shortly. So I'm prying up the back gently. I don't want to break my glass. And this is what it looks like underneath. It's got a little bin there, but that's not going to be a problem. I'm going to remove these. They are not stuck down on the frame itself, so that's a good thing. You use some of this white chalk paint, this linen white. Shake, shake, shake. And my little Dollar Tree brush. And I am going to go over this entire thing. I just give it one thick coat and then put it in front of the fan to dry for a little while. Needs to be dry to touch because once you put the glue stick on there on top of wet paint, it is going to make a mess. So be sure that it is completely dry. Get around your edges too if your frame happens to have, um, you know, some painted edges there. Just going around there just a little bit and then using my finger to take off anything so it doesn't drip on the backing. These are not all created equal. Some of these look like perfect heart shape and one of those looks kind of flat on top. So I just picked the best three, or the best two that I liked. This is what that shred looks like. You can use any color you like that coordinates. This is such a pretty ribbon. I'm going to make a simple shoe string bow here. And it is going to have two layers, so I'm going to use one of this one, the stripe, and then one of the gingham. Just got to kind of play around with it. Usually the bows turn out perfectly, but for some reason I got it twisted on one side. So I just keep fiddling with it until it's perfect. And then I want to dovetail my ends, which I should have been wearing my glasses because I was a little confused there. And this is not wired. The gingham ribbon is wired, but it's pretty thick. It's a good quality. It originally, I think, came from uh, Target. So it's a nice thick ribbon. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other ribbon. This ribbon is probably, I would probably say like a medium size because I want it to be something that doesn't completely bulk up the inside of the frame because it's going to be pushing against the glass if it gets too thick and too big. So I thought that this type of bow would be the perfect, 
the perfect solution for that. And so I'm just showing you here how you can double up a thin ribbon and cut two dovetails at one. Save your time. So now we are going to combine these together. The colors look really nice together, I think. Take this glue stick, use whatever kind you want. I happen to have got these on a very steep clearance. And the calendar page is too big, as you almost saw in that clip. Um, it's too big, but that's not a problem because we are going to sand it down. Now, if you want to cut, you have a cutting board, a steady hand, you could cut it. But I'm going to do the same thing I always do, and that is going to be to sand my edges. It's a little bit different because I have to be careful about the backing that is just below that. But there is a way around it. I'm using my wooden side of my wooden ruler to press down and to get the, butt, the wrinkles or little bubbles or anything like that out from under there. So I'm just using a piece of heavy cardstock to go under the edge and to keep that sanding block from bumping against my the backing there that's underneath. It's a little bit different than what I usually do. I had to turn it sideways, but that's okay. It works just as well. And it takes a little bit of the gray paint or the gray ink off of the page, which gives it a white kind of aged look, which I like with my decor. You're gonna do this kind of gently all the way around and just pulling off where it's coming off. If anything lifts up very easily, add a little more glue on there, press it back down and just be sure that you clean up your edges. It's important that you take that glue stick all the way out to the edges of your paper because if you don't, it is going to pry back up. When it dries, it's going to pull up. It might possibly curl depending on the type of paper that you use. So just be sure that you can avoid all that by going right around your edges nicely with that glue stick. see that laying uh, right under the edge. It's not much of a, a gap between the two layers there. And I do not want to scratch it. There, I was really scared I was going to scratch it then. But I got it. You might could even tuck that under. You know, glue it, put the glue on the page instead, and then roll the edges under. Um, you know, that could be an option for you if you wanted to do it that way. You just want to go along and do this all over the entire calendar page until it's done. All right, and so this is how it is going to look. I'm going to attach these two bows together with a little piece in the middle. You can use whichever one you want, but I'm going to use the color of the top bow to do my center. This is going to bind those together, make them look like one bow. Whatever calendar page you use, that's what you want to match your ribbons to. But I think that this one is really pretty. I've made it for Valentine's Day, but it could certainly be used all year round if you wanted to. This bow is going to go right in the center top of that calendar page. All right, so now to decide where we want the hearts to go. Play around with it a little bit, see what you like, see where you like it. I'm also looking to see if I would like some type of a bow with a thicker ribbon on it, or if I wanna use something thinner just kind of playing around to try to get an idea of what I want to do. So I picked two hearts that are almost twins. All right, you could remove your glass while doing this, but I didn't want to because I would have had to figure out how to get those lifters or spacers out. So very, very, very carefully remove these little clips because you can easily break your glass. 
you might even could put some cardboard paper or something down there to um, to protect it while you're pulling out these clips. This was kind of a pain in the behind, to be honest. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get an idea of how this is gonna look with the bow on and how much room I have left in here. And I have plenty of clearance for my bow, but the ends need to be tacked down. So just a dot, the smallest amount of hot glue so that it doesn't show through the ribbon um, as an obvious darker spot. And like I said, with this thicker ribbon, it's going to kind of stay in place for me. It's not going to flop downwards once we get the frame back on it. I am going to make some little bows to go on my parts, and this is going to be shoestring bow just like the other. So I'm going to show you shortly how to do that. Really easy. First time I did it, I pulled too much through, so I'm doing it again. Uh, that's all you have to do. Pull them down to make your little loops even there. Get your strings as long as you want them to be. I want to even mine up, make them the same size. And then a little bit, little bitty bit of hot glue. We'll hold those bows right down to those little wooden heart wreaths. Wreath, would you call it a wreath? It's like a tiny heart wreath. Find your placement, little bit of glue and put those down where you want them. I'll put this one on. Didn't have it exactly where I wanted it. I didn't have the flat side down. They're usually kind of bowed on one side. This one was, so I had to scoot it around a little. Then I'm going to take my shred paper and put that right around the bottom. Just tuck it in there. You can put as much or as little as you like. I didn't want a whole bunch. Now I'm testing it. Y'all excuse my lights reflecting there in the glass. There's nothing really I can do about it. And to put that back on, I'm just going to use some strips of foam board from Dollar Tree. Cut them in rectangles and then for each corner. And then I'm going to use hot glue on the side of each piece that where it touches. So on the long side and the short side of each one to hold it to the frame itself. You can use popsicle sticks, popsicle sticks across the corners if you want to to make like a triangle shape to hold it in there. You can do whatever you like to make sure that this fits back down. You can even glue the inside surface back to the risers that are in there, but I don't want to do that. I want to easily be able to reuse this if I choose to reuse it. And this is thick enough and this Gorilla Glue glue is strong enough to hold this together so I'm not too worried about it. Plus I picked it up and shook it a little bit and it works fine. And this is how it's looking. I'm very happy with this. It's much better than I could have ever anticipated. Such a pretty little sign and you can do this for any holiday really. Any calendar page you choose and Dollar Tree has the best calendar pages. What colors are you looking at for Valentine's decorating your home? Are you doing pale colors, pastel colors? Are you doing bright, crazy colors? A lot of people are going towards purple this year. What's your preference? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.